Hello friends! Today I've got something to show you that I know you've always wanted in both OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. Well here it is at last in Tahoma. You can now have folders on the timeline and this will be a huge help to anyone who's worked with more than a simple animation. And I thought I'd show you this with this short animation that I created in OpenTunes, recreating the famous scene from Steamboat Willie. And if you want to see how I created this, you can watch every step over on a video on my channel. But let me show you how folders work and what they can and can't do. And as you can see, Mickey is built up from lots of drawings all on different columns, and it would be really handy to group these together in a folder. So to create a folder, I can simply right click on any column header and I can choose to create a new folder. Or I could press the new folder button here on the timeline toolbar. And I can rename the folder. So let's call it Mickey. And then I can drag in each of these columns into this one folder column by clicking and dragging and then dropping them while on top of that folder. And now you see it's slightly indented. And as I've dragged the hands in, that goes below it and indents again. Or I can click on one folder header and then hold shift and click on the last folder, the last column, sorry and then drag those columns in to the bottom here and you'll see them all indent. And now, as you might expect, I can then click on this triangle on the left-hand side of the folder and just close that folder up and click it again to open it. Now, you don't see anything in the cells of that folder column, so when I close it, you can't see what drawings are in there or animation keys just yet. At some point in the future, that may change. So for now, the cells are empty, but you can get to each of the individual drawings and edit them. So this is a much better way of being able to combine lots of different columns without using the collapse feature of using the sub scenes. So while I'm working with Mickey, I can have the folder open. And then if I want to work on the background or the audio or another character, I can simply close the Mickey folder and then move on to those columns I want to work on later. Let me create another couple of folders here. And you'll see at the bottom, I've got a bunch of folders folded down. You can see the lines in here. So if I click on that, it expands those columns there. So now if I again right click and choose to add a new folder, and this will be for my sketch columns. So I'll simply click on the first column, hold shift, click on the last column, drag those over the sketch folder there, and I can collapse that down and now I can much easier get to the columns and see where the sketch columns are. Let me move the music down here to the bottom and then I'll do the same again. I'll add another folder using the toolbar button this time and I'll call this background. It's actually kind of the background and, and foreground a little bit but it allows me to put all three of those columns into that folder. So that's the actual background image the boat that Mickey is standing on and the wheel that he's turning. So I can collapse that down there. Now, as I say, I can just open the Mickey folder to get to the Mickey drawings and edit those. And while you are working on a set of columns like this, if I was working on Mickey, I might not want to see all the columns of the background or the other characters. And as you may know, you can hide them by pressing this button here for the table visibility to hide them one at a time. But now, as they're part of a folder, I can hide them all together by clicking the table button on the folder. And they disappear in one. Likewise, I can press the I button, which stops all of the columns being rendered, which can save you time for not rendering backgrounds that have lots of effects on them, perhaps. Or maybe you've got two different types of backgrounds, so you might want to show just the sketch backgrounds and not the actual final version of the background. And you can also use the options in the flyout menu of the folder to bring down the opacity of all the columns or apply a color filter to them. So again, it makes work with a bunch of columns much, much easier. So that's how it looks on the timeline. How does it look on the X sheet? I can hear you asking. Let me show you in the stop motion room. So the X sheet obviously takes up a lot more space than the timeline if you've got multiple columns. So if I expand the Mickey folder, you can see it here at the right hand side. 
that now shows all the columns that are in the Mickey folder. And above them, you can see a little orange strip to indicate that they are part of a folder. Unfortunately, the folder at the minute only sits at the right hand side when it's open. Personally, I'd quite like it sometimes to move to the left hand side. And again, that's something that may change in the future. So again, just click the arrow button to close down the folder and again to reopen it. And you can still access the hiding buttons for the rendering and for the view while you're drawing. And putting columns into folders doesn't change how the columns are rendered. They are still rendered in the order that you see them on the egg sheet, even when the folder is closed. But it's worth mentioning that the folder doesn't affect the schematic either. If you go to the FX room, you'll see that the folder isn't shown at all on the schematic, the stage schematic, or the FX schematic. I suspect at some point it will do, so you can use the folder as a way to group your columns together for applying effects or to parent them together. You do currently have other grouping options here on the schematic, but that's a chat for another day. If you're interested in that, you can check out the help documentation here in the menu. And it's worth noting that once you've added folders to your scene and saved it, you can no longer open the scene in an early version of Tahoma 2D because it doesn't have folders, nor in OpenTunes. And that's just about everything for folders here in Tahoma 2D. But let me just point out two bonus features while we're here. The first one is that the note levels that you may or may not have used have now been promoted to have its own button on the timeline toolbar. So you can add a note level just by clicking that button or by right clicking on the header and choosing new note level. And finally, you can resize the timeline header. So if you're naming folders or any of your columns with a lot of words, you can now hover over the right hand side of the column header and then click and drag to make the column header larger. And you can still only reduce it to the same size it was before. And hopefully at some point that'll go even smaller to leave you more room for the cells. But being able to resize this is really handy. And I can imagine that being really useful. So there we are a new way to organize your columns and work inside Tahoma 2D. And for some of you, this could be the feature that brings you over to Tahoma from OpenTunes. It's such a simple feature, but really will make a difference to your workflow. So download the latest build and give this a try. And I'll see you next time with another Tahoma 2D new feature. And that's a guarantee.